Judd Anthony here, heading off to the store to go pick up some goodies, thinking about maybe doing some spaghetti carbonara, or maybe some blackened chicken fettuccine, I don't know, something comforting for my wife, she's put in a long hard day, and I'm going to cook her up something special, I'll check back with you at the house, see you later. Hey guys, come along with me, we're going in the Safeway, and we're going to pick up some, uh, some awesome groceries for tonight's dinner, so come along for the trip. So we're at beautiful Safeway in Portland, and I'm thinking like comforting spaghetti carbonara. That's it, let's start shopping. Hey Food Network, this is Judd Anthony from the Safeway in Portland with my favorite butcher, Frank. That's Frank right there. How's it going down in Portland? Say hello, Food Network. Hello, Food Network. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. <laughs> Got a little audience over here. Hey. Say hi, Food Network. <laughs> Three cheese. Got habanero cheese. Got cotija cheese. We got gouda cheese. We got habanero cheese. Anthony here, welcome to my kitchen in Portland, Oregon. Cooking up the wife some dinner tonight. And uh, one of her favorites, all time favorites, one of my most favorite pasta dishes too. Um, pasta spaghetti carbonara. And uh, I'll explain how we get there here in just a minute. I am uh, just went to the store and I got a bunch of our ingredients that we're gonna need for tonight. Only the best, of course. Spaghetti carbonara, guys. Um, not the best shot in the world, but hey, this is it. So, uh, cutting up a little bit of onion. That's one of the uh, one of the main ingredients. I think the carbonara. The two things that I like to taste when I do it is the uh, the egg, the onion, and the peppercorn. Super, super, super important for me. So. Uh, that's what we're doing here. We're just getting some of this, uh, some of the onion going. I got a few cloves of garlic. Let me get that going. And then uh, we're gonna put the dish together. So, oh my God, I can't stop eating this pecorino. Delicious. So, I got my water boiling here. I've got my ingredients over here. That's my, uh, my chopped garlic. I've got some chopped onion, I've got some whole butter, my parsley and all the other ingredients there, and I'm going to start putting this thing together, so, mm, so good, creamy, salty, just this great bite that's going to um, kind of round out that pasta and give it that wow factor, so delicious. So I got my water boiling here. I've got my ingredients over here. That's my uh, my chopped garlic. I've got some chopped onion. I've got some whole butter, my parsley, and all the other ingredients there. And I'm going to start putting this thing together. So. A whole ton of salt in there and uh, I'm gonna let that go for about eight minutes why 
Eight minutes is a perfect al dente, like my mama used to say. If it goes more than eight minutes, you're killing me. Chad, do you kill in the past? <laughs> Don't kill in the past. Come on, what's the matter for you? Hey guys, here we go. I'm gonna start putting this dish together. So, I just love this dish, man. I mean, it's there, there's nothing more comforting to me than spaghetti carbonara. Do a little bit of pancetta. Get the pancetta nice and brown. The great thing about this is it's super, super, super easy. Super cheap, super filling, super comforting. Add the cream and let it thicken up and really become this creamy, beautiful, hearty, comforting sauce that's gonna take to that pasta. And then I got a secret at the end for you and I'll show you what that is. That flavor of the onions and the pancetta and the garlic is just all coming together now. Building that base of this beautiful, comforting pasta dish called pasta carbonara. Coming along here. Hey, I don't know if I explained earlier about pasta carbonara, spaghetti carbonara, fettuccine carbonara, whatever. Uh, carbonara in Italian means coal, like charcoal. And the dish was named, uh, it's a Roman dish, um, and it was named um, after charcoal for the uh, coal miners. They work super hard out there, build up these enormous appetites, and uh, the women would have to feed these hungry men with very little money. So uh, pasta was cheap, eggs were cheap, naturally uh, guanciale, which is from the cheek of the pig, was very, very cheap. And they put all these things together and it came alive. So that was what it was. I am now, guys, going to drain this off and I'm going to add some cream and make it come together. Pasta going in. Cennalun. I love it. I cooked the pasta about eight minutes. Al dente. That's the way to go. Pasta just swimming in there. I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. Thin it out just a little bit. Oh yeah, baby. A couple turns of black pepper. Mm, 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 mm. If you like it really spicy, you throw in the red chili flakes. And then, I taste. Oh man. Oh. If I wasn't married, I'd married myself again. Kiss the cook, baby. <laughs> okay, sorry it took so long. I got this thing. My, my mama would have killed me if I put pasta in anything other than a red bowl or a green bowl. It's got to be the Italian colors because anything else would just be wrong. <laughs> so I made sure I got a green bowl to plate this up. And uh, we're getting ready to eat here, man. So I'm going to twirl this all up. Just like that, put it in a big knot. So good. Oh, I miss this dish. Look at that, that's the pasta right there, all steamy and yummy and delicious. Now, the finishing touches. Get my microplane, a little bit of this Pecorino Romano. I'm just gonna shave that over the top. Oh, mamma mia, let me tell you, this stuff is so good. You won't have to eat for another day or two because this is one of those sticky ribs pastas. Seriously, it's good. Okay, and then I like to do a couple turns of black pepper over the top. Super, super peppery, super, super creamy, super, super yummy. And then I, uh, I finish that puppy off with a little sprig of parsley. You know what I'm saying? And there you go it. Bada boom, bada bing, pasta, carbonara.